In this example, we have to find x and y so that we can maximize 182x plus 139y and the constraint is the first constraint is 6x plus 9y less than or equal to 7000 the second constraint is x plus y less than or equal to 1000 the third constraint is 15 x plus 10y less than or equal to 14,000 and x and y has to be larger or equal to euro. So first we have to determine what is the decision variable. So the decision variable in this case Is the one we want to determine that is x and y so I put x and y here the second one I want to input the objective what is objective our objective here is maximize 182x plus 139y so I will input equal to 182 multiplied by x this cell is the value of x plus 139 multiplied by y so i have the objective function which i later i will want to maximize this value so next is the constraint the first one is 6x multiply by uh, sorry 6x plus 9y and this value has to be less than or equal to 7000 the second constraint is x x plus y has to less than or equal to 1000 the third constraint is 15x plus 10y has to be less than or equal to 14000 the next constraint is x has to be larger or equal than euro and y has to less larger or equal to euro so the first step you have to determine the decision variable the second one is what is your objective function and the next is what is the constraint then after that you input the formula in cell here after finishing go to data and choose solver so in solver here first set objective is our objective here so choose the value of objective is this one c10 we want to maximize minimize or set it equal to a value we want to maximize right so choose maximize by changing variable cells so you choose the value of your decision variable that is x and y here and now we will input the constraint so we have totally one two three four five constraint so i will add the first one is this less than or equal to 7000 first one the second one is this value less than or equal to 1000 and the third one is this one less than or equal to 14000 
third one is x larger or equal than zero and y is larger or equal to zero so okay so check again you already include all five constraints here and after finish just solve and okay they will give you the value the optimal value of x and y so that you can maximize this function okay